This is the another example on Jacobian. See the statement of the given problem. Given that u is equal to yz by x, v is equal to zx by y, and uh, w is given as xy by z. So u, v, w are the three functions in the three variables x, y, and z. Then evaluate. We have to find Jacobian of u, v, w with respect to x, y, z. Okay. We can also represent this Jacobian with the of u, v, w with respect to x, y, z. You should read this symbol also as Jacobian of u, v, w with respect to x, y, z. Solution. So, first we have to write the given functions. Given that u is equal to yz by x, v is equal to z, yz, zx by y, v is given as zx by y, and finally w is equal to xy by z. These are the given functions. We are going to find out the Jacobian of these functions with respect to x, y, z. Already by definition we know that we know that what is the definition of Jacobian? Jacobian of u, v, w with respect to x, y, z which is a determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. Okay, in the first row we have the partial derivatives of u with respect to x, y, z. You should write the partial derivatives of the first function in the first row. Okay, ux is nothing but dou u by dou x. Uy is nothing but dou u by dou y. Similarly, uz is nothing but partial differentiation of u with respect to z. Okay, you can also use these symbols, no problem. And the second row is the partial derivatives of v. Vx, Vy, Vz. So finally, the third row, you should write the partial differentiation of the third function. Wx, W suffix y, W suffix z. Okay, so first of all, we have to find out the partial derivatives of u, v, w with respect to x, y, z. Totally, you have to find out nine derivatives. Okay, see, dou u by dou x, dou u by dou y, dou u by dou z. Okay, in this case, by taking the partial derivative of u with respect to x, only 1 by x is the variable, yz is the constant. Already you know that derivative of 1 by x is nothing but minus 1 by x square. That's why you will get minus yz by x square. Now, dou u by dou y means partial differentiation of u with respect to y. In this case, except to y remaining are all constants. z by x is the constant. So, just you should write the ordinary derivative of y with respect to y. So, 1 into z, z by x, you will get z by x. Now, dou u by dou z. In this case, only z is the variable. So, you should get y by x. Similarly, dou v by dou x. Here, only x is the variable. You should write the derivative of x with respect to x, which is 1, z into 1, z. Already I told you, to solve the problems on Jacobian, Knowledge of partial differentiation is very very important. Dou v by dou y. In this case, only 1 by y is the variable. Differentiation of 1 by y is minus 1 by y square. Already in the numerator we have zx. So you will get minus zx by y square. Dou v by dou z. In this case, you will get x by y. Similarly, dou w by dou x is equal to just write the derivative of x we will get y by z dou w by dou y it would be x by z dou w by dou z you will get minus x y by z square because only 1 by z is the variable you should write the ordinary derivative of 1 by z with respect to z you will get minus 1 by z square now replace these all values in this definition this becomes first row. First row is these three elements. Minus yz by x square. Z by x. And last element in the first row is y by x. 
Now you should write these three elements in the second row, which is z by y minus z x by y square. Mm -hmm. Next, x by y. You should write these three elements in the third row, which are y by z, x by z, minus x y by z square. Now find out the determinant. Already you know that first element into minus y z by x square. Open your bracket. Close the first row and first column. You will get a 2 by 2 matrix. You should write the determinant of that 2 by 2 matrix. Please write carefully. So, open your bracket minus z x by y square. I am writing product of these two terms into minus x y by z square. Close the bracket minus product of these two terms x into x x square in the denominator we have y into z y z so you can write directly x square by y z this is the first part minus second element into z by x whole into close the first row and the second column so you should multiply these two elements z by y into minus x y by z square minus this this element into this element so y by z into x by y so second part is completed in the determinant now see the last element y by x into close the first row and last column so you should multiply these two terms which are z by y into x by z minus already minus symbol is there that's why you should write plus z x by y square into y by z close the bracket simplify the terms you will get the answer c first term is minus y z by x square open your bracket here we are observing that one z is there in the numerator and another z get cancelled in the denominator one y gets cancelled in the numerator and denominator so minus into minus plus x into x x square x square is the numerator by y times of z y z minus x square by y z first part is completed minus z by x whole into here one z gets cancelled one y gets cancelled here we have minus symbol minus x by z here y by getting cancelled so you will get x by z last term y by z whole into so z z cancelled so remaining terms are only x by y here z z cancel 1 y gets cancel so you will get plus x by y the 1 y is there here so we are observing that x square by y minus z minus x square by y z gets cancel so first term is 0 take on out the term negative sign so z by x whole into all into here remaining terms are x by z plus x by z so you can add the two terms 2x by z plus y by z whole into you can add these both terms similar terms that's why you can add that both terms 2x by y so y y gets cancelled 2x by 1 Second place. Oh, so this is y by x. Okay, look at this term. 
this is not y by z, this is y by x. So x x gets cancelled. Here x x gets cancelled, z z gets cancelled. So finally we will get 2 plus 2. It would be 4. In case of finding the determinant, unfortunately I wrote as y by z instead of y by x. So please correct it. So the Jacobian of uv w with respect to x by z is 4. This is the conclusion. Jacobian of uv w with respect to x y z is 4. This is the final conclusion. In the next video, I will give some more problems on Jacobians. Thank you very much.